In the last episode, we kind of got lost at the end for panels because the storyline skipped ahead to the ending of one of the other Fantastic Four issues that ended with Doctor Doom being shrunk down to a smaller size at the time we thought he was just being shrunk down and disappearing and in the end that's no more Doctor Doom but he came back in a story that we have the soundtrack for later on in this series with the Ant-Man and that was the result of him being shrunk down in this storyline and this was the last of the pinup pages fantastic four pinup page for Sue Storm Invisible Girl Now today's episode is from Fantastic Four number 8 The Puppet Master This is the first time we meet Alicia Masters father or stepfather and Alicia Masters is the Thing's girlfriend, or she will develop into the Thing's girlfriend as the series begins. And so we begin with the 1960s radio show. Attention, all true believers! Marvel Comics is on the air! of the world's greatest comic magazine come the adventures of the Fantastic Four. This week, read Sue Van Johnny star in Prisoners of the Puppet Master. And here's the creator of Marvel Comics, Stan Lee, with a prologue to our tale. Thank you. Throughout Africa and in many parts of Central and South America, voodoo is the practiced religion. The voodoo practitioner can inflict pain or even kill his victim from miles away by affecting a doll image or effigy of his enemy. Most say that the victim must know that his effigy is being attacked for the practitioner's actions to have any effect. They're of the opinion that it's the victim's fear that gives the practitioner power. The puppet master is not a voodoo practitioner, but he does use effigies, as we will see in just half a moment. Oh, it's Ben. I didn't expect him back so soon. Don't let him in here. Sorry, Thing, you can't go in there. Reed's working on some secret experiment. Uh... So, I'm still one of the Fantastic Four, ain't I? You can't explain now, but please, Ben, don't enter Reed's lab. How come you only call me Ben when you want something? The rest of the time, I'm just the Thing, the all. So? So I'm gonna teach you and that walking rubber band not to keep secrets from me. Wait, Thing, you don't understand. I understand plenty, and I'm through playing Patsy for you grandstanders. Wait, Thing. You're my buddies when you need some muscle, but when something important comes along, I ain't got enough for you. Well, things are gonna change around here. Don't try to scare us with that funny voice of yours. Play mine. Let's see what that strength of yours can do with my Roman candle. Look out, Junior. That's hot. Well, I'll just put a circle of flame around you so you cool off. Knock it off, both of you. Here, thing, I'll douse Johnny's flame. Boy, you're really getting to be a killjoy. Be quiet, little brother. Thing, I'm sorry we couldn't let you in the lab. You see... Stow it, chum. I had enough of your smooth talk. I'm cutting out of this quartet right now. The fantastic boy can go find a wall for all I care. We think... You're making a big mistake. Reed, what will he do? Tis a puzzle, Sue. Ben Grimm is one hard-headed guy. You better follow him, invisibly. Perhaps when he calms down, I can reason with him. The invisible Susan Storm catches up with the thing just outside the Baxter building in Midtown Manhattan. 
Ben, you can't walk on this now. We don't need you, Ben. I really do. So that's why you're treated like Dracula's brother. Sorry, lady. I ain't buying it. Hey, look at that big clown talking to himself. Yeah, what gives? Hey, Mac, you some kind of nut or something? Who wants to know? We do, Femto. Yeah, how about introducing us to your lady, Femtic fella? Yeah, well, was she, some kind of gremlin or a good fairy? I've <laughs> been kicked by a gremlin before. Two of them. Oh, smoke. Hey, Charlie, what's going on? Why do you try to figure it out? Here's a lamppost for you. Oh, only instead of leaning on it. Wrap it around you so you don't fall down. Hey, hey, hey. Look, Reed, our signal hovering over the bridge tower. And there's somebody on the bridge. Johnny, flame on. Good luck, partner. Hope I reach you in time. At that same instant, several miles away in Brooklyn, a strange, ominous figure bends over a scale model of that same bridge. Now, little puppet, you and your ordinary go will help me test my new found power. And I nudge you, my little puppetry. That nameless creature on the Brooklyn Bridge will be unable to resist jumping into the river. Look at his eyes. He must be in some kind of trance. Mm -hmm. Gotcha! prediction. Thing, Reed will explain everything. Just come back with me. Thing. Forget it, sister. I'm going in this building here, and nothing can stop me. Thing, where are you going? Oh, Thing, wait. No, leave me alone. Look, he's in a trance. He's going to that apartment just like a zombie. Seat over there and wait for me. A puzzled Susan Storm also enters the apartment of the puppet master, invisible to him, but... Father, there are two strangers here. I can hear another heartbeat. I sense another person. There's only one person that could be, and she shall not find the puppet master unprepared. First, gas mask for us. Well, put this on, my dear. You two thing. <laughs> and then, ether for her. Oh, I've got Once asleep, she can no longer control her cosmic ability and. This is what the invisible girl looks like. I hope the others are equally easy prey. What are you talking about, Father? Uh, uh, yeah, but, uh, you and this girl look remarkably similar, Alicia. In fact, that gives me an idea. Come here, my dear. How would you like to look as beautiful as the invisible girl? What, Father? Yes. Come here, Alicia. Within a few minutes. There, my dear, you look just like her. It's time for you to play a little prank for me. What kind of prank, Father? Do not question me. Do as I say. And don't call me father. 
This man, his face feels strong, yet I sense a great gentleness in him and something tragic. You never look better. Stand back while I test his strength. A steel keg in his hand, and by my command, he shall crush it. He has no will but mine, no grave but mine. Go, Kibadisha. Say nothing, but do not leave his side. I do not understand. This is all so strange. Kibadisha. I will do as I am told, stepfather. While they're gone and the invisible girl is unconscious, I shall take the next step in my plan. There is another little friend of mine, the effigy of the personal trustee of Warden Sloves up at the state prison. <laughs> I know his alter ego is in the warden's office, so I'll just sit my little doll here at this scale model desk <laughs> and keep his tiny fingers grasp the master key ring. Meanwhile, at the state prison... Guard! Guard! My keys have been stolen! Close off all exits from this building! Sound the general alarm! But let us return to the Baxter building where the other two of the Fantastic Four are in Reed Richards' laboratory. The experiment is almost completed, Johnny. Too bad Ben isn't here. Someone's just gone through our heat sensor. Maybe it's him. Yeah, it looks like they're coming in right now. Wrong, Sonny. We ain't coming in. We are in. Reed, help! Come quick! The thing's gone mad! No, Johnny. I can tell by his movements. He's being controlled by some outside power. He doesn't even know what he's doing. What are going to do? I threw him into my lab where I've been working. The berserk thing uncontrollably follows Reed Richards' movements. He has frenzy smashes the end result of several months of research. You did it, Reed! It crashed right into the chemical bio! Now we'll see if the potion works. As the thin skin is exposed to the chemical, he becomes limp. He sinks to the floor, drenched in the strange formula. My face, it's human. I'm I Ben Grimm again. It's me! So great is the shock of his transformation that the spell of the puppet master is terminated. You did it, Reed. But how did it happen? It was this chemical I've been working on. I didn't want you to know about it until I knew it would work. You've had too many disappointments already, and you I... You were doing it for me? I thought you hated me, were scheming against me. Oh, Reed, I feel all stuff with, partner. You had every right to blow your top, and we've still got some job cut out for ourselves. Please, will somebody tell me what's going on? You're not my sister. Who is she, Ben? I remember now. She's the stepdaughter of the puppet master. The poor kid's blind. She looks just like Sue. This is all so frightening. Don't worry, kid. You're safe and sound here. We're all your friends. Your voice. You are the strong one. So kind. But you seem so different now. <laughs> no, wait. It is you. It's that same wonderful man. Well, it must be that chemical stuff of weeds. I guess it only works when it's wet, when it dries. Things go back to normal. But the clincher is that Alicia likes me better as the thing. And now, as though racing against time, fate accelerates the speed of our startling tale as we swiftly shift our attention to the home of the nation's most hardened criminals, the state prison. Ever have the feeling that jump's gonna happen? Yeah, you've been reading too many mysteries. Perhaps he has been reading too much, but at that instant, the warden's personal trustee inserts a master key into an electronic lock which automatically opens every cell door within the prison. I don't understand. I can't control myself. I must free all the prisoners now. The puppet master is so involved with manipulating the jailbreak, I've got a chance to escape. Who opened that door? The girl. She's gone. 
No one gets away from the puppet master. I'll just squeeze the ankles of my Susan Storm effigy and... And the shock of being tripped by remote control causes her to lose concentration and... There you are, my dear. My only chance is my flare gun. The time is short for Sue, but fortunately the other members of the team are searching nearby in the Fantasticar. There's Sue's signal. It's coming from the stoop of that building. Let's go! However, inside the building that serves as his laboratory, the Puppet Master has another creation awaiting his attackers, his largest, most powerful puppet.